Hey everyone, I got my boxy charm. Do you want to see what I got? Do you? I'm actually pretty happy with this month. I was surprised. I was glad I didn't get the small one because I did not like what was in that one at all. And let's see what I got. Now I did open this ahead of time because I was impatient and didn't feel like fi filming yesterday. That's usually what happens. And um, right now I'm actually wearing the eyeshadow that came with it. I didn't put liner and it's not really my type of palette. It's definitely more neutral. It is this palette right here. The good thing about this is that if I use it a couple of times and I don't like it, my sister is happy to take this off my hands. It is beautifully packaged. I think it's very pretty. And um, these are the colors. Uh, I like the dark ones right here which are colors I would wear, which you can kind of see. I used these two. And then I used these two in the crease. But I don't really see any crease. Do you? Mm. But it's nice for a neutral palette. So I definitely think it's well, like, good quality. I like the fact that it is cruelty free, which is always, you know, it's nice. And uh, I like the way it feels. It is very weighty. I don't think it's $50 worth, but it is if you, um, you know, are a fan of neutrals, it might be perfect for you. Again, I will still use this. I will try it. I just think I'll use it with a different palette for my matte that I need because I don't really like those mattes. I would probably use um, more of a pinkish color in the background or an orangey color. Like, that's what I wear. So, again, that's up to you, but whatever. First product, $50. I think I know a couple off hands, but I don't have the card. Oh, I do. I lied. It's right here. Um, so, yeah, $50. I do think it's a little pricey. But the weight, you know, packaging, you know, I don't know. Uh, next item I got was the retinol. I got the retinol cream or serum. So right here. I don't actually use retinols all that much because I forget to put sunscreen on. So I'm not going to open this right now because I think that my best bet would be to use it in winter. Because I live in California, and even then, it's going to be problematic because I need to wear sunscreen all the time. But I think that I don't want to use this right now during the summer. But it looks really cool. Let me take it out of the packaging. It's really pretty. And I am going to be turning 38 in December, so I guess I should start using this stuff too. I mean, I use other things, but I don't usually touch retinol. But again, it's really pretty. Like it matters. The packaging is not the product. Does the product work? That's the, that's the question here. Um, this is, like I said, it's actually pretty affordable in my opinion. Because skincare is usually like really expensive. It's $39. I, actually, I said it's affordable. I still wouldn't be able to afford it. But I mean, I've seen retinols for like a hundred bucks and stuff. Like that's just like one, one, one skin. Like come on. So this is affordable compared to that. Again. So this will be something I will use during the winter. Next item I got was the mud mask, musky, and it's the eye cream. I'm not opening this. I have plenty of eye creams that I'm using currently. Um, a lot of people are saying that it was like half or something. But even if it's half, that's still pretty good size for eye cream. Because it takes a long time to use it. But I don't think I would ever pay $63 for this. I just wouldn't. But it's nice to be able to try it. Next product is these adorable 
sponges. So I did take it out of the cart. Okay, so I took it out to feel it, and then I couldn't put them in right. So I couldn't put them back in the pretty faces, but they're so cute. I might just put little stickies behind it so you have the color <laughs> behind each face. There's the unicorn kitty, the panda, the bunny, and the cool, cool, cool dog, cool cat. I don't know. There could be two cats here. I don't know. I guess it's a dog. But anyway, these are super cute. Um, I'll pull mine out. So the one I'm mostly interested in is actually this blue one because I think that would be kind of cool to try to put foundation on since I'm not very good at that stuff. Um, the other ones are really cool. This one is cute. I only have one other sponge and I got it a while back and it's a gray one. And I got it from BoxyCharm. And I haven't used it because my dog likes to eat these. Well, he doesn't eat them, but he steals them and plays with them like a toy. Like, he's very gentle with these. So I'll use it a couple times, clean it, and give it to him probably, but, um... These are cute, and I will hide these so he doesn't touch them. But I'll give you my opinion on those later if I ever try them. Last item. Um, by the way, that was twenty dollars. I actually think that's not really a bad price. You get each one five bucks. People pay more than that for these things, and if they're good, which I have heard that they are, some people like these a lot better than like real technique. Well. Somebody said that they like the AO, AO, the Shop Miss A ones better than like any of the ones, but these look like they're cool. And people have liked these better than the Real Technique, I think. Don't, you know, don't hold me on that, but I'm pretty sure I heard that in somebody's video. I watch so many videos, and usually a whole bunch of um, boxy charm unboxings before I get mine. So I have no idea who said it, but I think I heard it somewhere. The last product is this lip oil. At first when I saw this, I was like, eh, I just got one, which does smell amazing and it's great and I like it, surprisingly, because I didn't think I would like lip oils, but then I took it out and I think it's adorable. It's like a little mini version of the fat thing I have. But, um, it smells just like the other one. <laughs> and I said I wasn't going to open it, but I'm like, oh, I can have two around the house. It's not like an eye cream or... It's like I forget how to put any lip products on my lips anymore. But anyway, I actually like these, surprisingly. Um, if they were sticky, I wouldn't like them, let's be honest. But I really do like this. It's better than any other lip gloss besides Buxom, which is my favorite. But, I mean, I like these. I'm happy to get them, surprisingly. And um, I would say this is a 4 out of 5, but really... Because eh, eyeshadow palette's really not on my eye, but I'm going to use it. I'd still give it 4 stars out of 5. I think that's pretty good. Let's say I give this half, and I give this half, just because the price is just outrageous. But everything else is great, and I liked it. What did you think about my products? Did you think it was a good month for me? Again, I got the spongies. Okay, they're not sponge jealous. Sponge gels. <laughs> I never get those in my box. Uh, I got the retinol. I got the eye cream. I got a lip product, which is the lip oil. I think it makes it look very, very nice. Why do I always look glowy? Like I put oil on my face. And then the eyeshadow palette. So I'm actually really happy with this month. And I didn't pick any of these products because I still can't get into my account. And before you say, have you contacted BoxyCharm yet? The answer is no. Because I don't like talking to people. I will eventually. But this month was really ha I was happy with everything. I mean, obviously, I think this was the choice and I got it because I didn't pick. If I did pick, I'm going to tell you what I would have picked. I would have picked the cleanser. Do I need more cleansers? No. But it's a pharmacy product. So 
that's the only thing I was kind of bummed out with. But I'm so much happier with these products than I would have been with um, the just the makeup and the eye. I'm glad I didn't get eyebrow products today. I am happy about that. So again, this is a great month for Ipsy, Ipsy, <laughs> Boxy Charm. I will be doing an Ipsy one eventually, but I'm waiting for my sister for that one. So anyway, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.